I turned my sound off my phone. Hey, Heather. Welcome tonight. I see Misty popping in there with hearts already. Thank you, Misty. And Christy. So tonight, we're going to have just a fun little project. Hey, Alex. We're going to have a fun little project tonight in celebration of all this heat. Where and how much heat are you guys experiencing where you are? Hey, Barb. Hey, Misty. Heather. We are having a heat wave. So... Hey, Jess. Hey, Susan. So, in celebration of our heat wave, we're going to play with chili peppers. A chili pepper pot. A chili pepper pot. Um, and so, where did my other pot go? Oh, it's in the, it's in the, I have a bunch of stuff in the best fire that I was hoping would get done, um, before this live, but it's still at like 480 degrees, so I'm not going to get to open it until in the morning. And, uh, hi, Cindy. And you know, we potters have such a hard time being patient when that kiln is going down ever so slowly. It seems like forever to get that down Hotter than hot, 98 plus. Well, that's cooler than us up here. We've been hitting the hundreds, 104s. Um, but you're down there closer to the water, I guess. Hey, Emily and Charlotte. So, um, we did last time. Hey, Vicki. Last time we did the Whimsical Starfish. And y'all asked me to add this starfish so i did put this starfish up on the website i think i called it um happy sponge star because everybody thought it was a spongebob so i called it the happy sponge star because i couldn't really call it spongebob right but it is up on the website and i've got a, a really fun project coming up on that with that and um, what else? What else is going on from Dayton, Ohio? Um, what else did I get? My Slab to Fabers got two new classes yesterday, and they have another one going up this week um, as well. So they're getting, now that the move's done, the workshop's over, classes are starting to pour in. That's a good thing. What's going on in your lives, everybody? That's why we need to do a Zoom so that we can talk. Hey, Diane. Hey, Penny. Hey, Deb. <clears throat> How is everybody? Okay, who's got the hottest? Who's got the hottest weather right now? <clears throat> look at your, look at your, <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my throat. I am so sorry. I will tell you what our temperature is right this very moment when it comes up on my phone. We are under a heat advisory and we are at 101. It says it feels like 104. Well, I just walked across the pasture from my daughter's and it feels like 134. My grass is all brown and crunchy. It's like crunch, crunch, crunch. There's not a bit of life left in it. Um, oh, Deb, that's great. Um, send me pictures or post pictures in the slab group uh, until the testing is done. Post it all in the slab group. That'll be fantastic. I can't wait. Who's got a heat index of 105? Who was that? Let me see. 
Penny, no, I did not get your email, dear. Which email did you send that to? 88 in Connecticut. Oh, man, that's that's a cold front there, Beth. Um, get my e No, Penny, I did not get your email. Louisiana, 82. Hey, Sharon. Um, the one on the web page? Okay, hold on. I'm looking right now. When did you send that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I know I didn't get that. I did not, Penny. I'm actually looking at it right now as well. When did you send that? Um, send it to... Sharon Hoppy Designs at yahoo.com because I don't have it in this one and uh, I need to <laughs> take care of your crabs. The one with the web page, we'll send it again. Yeah, the web page would be info at Sharon Hoppy Designs.com. Designs is plural. Um, oh, you like those two classes. Those, um, those two pieces are, you know, we moved stuff back from the lake. Um, yep, that would be why I did not respond, Penny. And, you know, you could hit me with a message. And if you're, if, you know, I'm not responding, because usually there's a reason, like in this case, I didn't get the email. Um, but those two new classes, those are coming out of the firing right now. Um, so, what else? Housekeeping. Do we have any housekeeping? We do not. Um, I can't, I can't think of any housekeeping items. Anybody have any shows coming up? Any, um, market shows, craft fairs, anything like that coming up? What uh, what we're doing tonight will be a fun little project. So, tonight we are gonna we are gonna use. And I apologize if you have a small kiln, you won't be able to do this project because the template, the smallest template, which is this template. Oh, am I a messy potter? I'm a messy potter is like 14 inches across but what it houses is this if i drop this on my thing i'm gonna die well let me get it hold on i should just put my overhead how's that for a um, fun little, ah! I did, I dropped it right in my pot. I knew I was gonna do that. How's that for a fun little divided tray? Oh, hey, it's hard enough that it survived. It didn't, I, I dropped it right on there and uh, it didn't, it didn't break. So, um, slab group, right after this, well, let me see. I'm going to, I'm going to give a sneak peek. No, I'm not. Never mind. I'm not going to. I will, after this live, I'm going to jump into the slab group. Uh, just for a quick live, just to say hi, and I'm going to show you what your, the beginnings of what your next class is going to look like. Even though you just got to today, um, that doesn't, that just catches me up. I still owe you two for this month, although it's only the third. Is today the third? Today's the fourth. Oh my God. Guys, you know, we had Christmas yesterday. And you know Christmas is coming tomorrow. 
Do you guys all feel that way? Or is it just me? Holy smokes. Jackie, I emailed you on that order, dear. Um, that order, yes, we, we won't talk about it here, but that order was just last week. Um, and it will be going up this week. So, uh, it's just your other order, even though it came second, it happened to go out first because that was already made. That's all. But I did send you an email, my dear. Um, you sent another one, Penny. Okay. When the, when the video plays while you're watching the video, I'll check my email and see if I got it. Anybody have anything fun and exciting they want to throw out there to this group you're working on you're going to be working on uh you're going on vacation your kids gave you a big old hug today anything fun we need some fun in our lives to take care of this heat anyway so i am going to show you well i dropped something on this earlier so don't don't look at the the scrapes all across this tray because <laughs> i dropped on it but and it's hard to you could see better in the back whoa can you see the front of that it's hard to see the dividers How about this? Hey, Henry. Henry says hello. So, we're going to be working on a dividing tray. Um, yeah, the chili pepper pen is, is a little bit different. I'm covering this up because I don't want it to work. The chili pepper pen is a little bit different than what I typically do. Um, but I had some people say, hey, we need some chili peppers. And uh, I had it. Did you cut that all as one piece or three separate pieces and score skip? Scores, oh, score and slip. Oh, the, the dish? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to watch the videos. That's what this is all about. Um, and of course you, my slab group knows that whole <laughs> slip, slip of the typing there, was it? Um, my out of the box thinking. So let's watch the first video and see how this works. Did you cut that all as one piece or three separate pieces? Well, the videos will tell the story here. Okay, we have a fun little project today for you. I am using B-Mix. Oh, it's a quarter inch, quarter inch thick. And I want to see if it's long enough because I have a fairly long template. And it is, you can see this. This would not give me enough material to to lay over or drape over my forms. So, always check that. So what I'm gonna do is just take a regular rolling pin, roll this out. Yeah, you know, there's marks from my forms, but I don't care, we'll get to that. And roll this towards me, and I'm not gonna flop off the end of this, but I wanna give some length to this and I am going to use the really fun chili pepper texture which will add length as I texture as well so I'm just taking my time I do want to unstick this clay though let me see if we've made any headway Oh, look at that we have and I think that once we texture we are gonna be good to go 
So bring this down one more time, move that. And now I'm gonna compress this real quick. Now I'll get these little marks from my template out of here. This is why I wasn't worried about it a little bit ago. Get all this compressing done. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this very carefully. Flip that over. Compress the back side. I've got an Australian Shepherd here at my feet, and I believe she's going into a shed. I have Australian Shepherd hair all in my clay. You can't see it on the camera, but I can see it. Yes, it's going to burn out, so it's no big deal, but it's hard to just leave it, right? Okay, there's that. All right, now I am going to texture this. I'm going to stand up to texture this, so I'm going to scooch myself way down, whoops, way down. So you can see me when I stand up. I'm going to try to keep my head out of the camera. And I don't even have handles on this pen yet because I just made it that um, I'm going to press down and just very gently roll. I'm not pressing hard. This is a very deep pen. But I am just methodically rolling. Trying to keep from sticking my fingers in it. And just keeping my head out of the camera. And just continue a nice steady roll. And not just flop it off the edge. There we have it. Look at this. Sweetness or hotness. It's a chili pepper. Hotness, chili pepper. All right. Now, I'm going to, because I know my template is plenty, uh, I have plenty of width here, I'm actually going to just go ahead and slice off this non-textured part. I could have rolled it on, I could have rolled texture on one side and then down the next strip, but I knew what size my template was. And now I'm going to take this other side off. Whoops. Okay. And why did I do that? Did it matter? No, it really didn't matter. However, when I go to lay it over my forms and my template, by only having texture clear out to the edges, the texture's face down, I don't see it. So as I bring it across the whole thing, I will not, I, I will know I will always have texture coming clear down the side and not worry about that empty space. So I just did that as an added benefit to make it easier for me. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to move my clay aside, set up my forms and my template, and then come back, drape my clay on, rip it in. Hmm, is that a hoppy term? Hoppy frog, I'm gonna rib it in. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna rib it in and start this cute little tray. Be right back. Okay. It was one of those days, right? Um, let me see. Did I miss anything? Who has a golden retriever? Oh, that's Barb. I love golden retrievers. We had um, the English cream retrievers. 
Okay, let's see. Did you cut that as one piece? That will be determined in the next video. How do you fire them so they do not warp? Okay, so I have it sitting here below me wrapped in plastic and I have had um, weight bags in it. I moved them out to bring it over here to show it to you, but I'll put them back in. And one of the key things is drying it slowly. Um, letting it dry evenly will help it from warping. Keep your plastic over it, put weight bags in it. In this case, one of my trays um, doesn't have handles and one does. And the one that has handles, the, the peppers are um, solid, sculpted, sculpted peppers. Say that 10 times. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> sculpted peppers. <laughs> But anyway, so um, I will keep this covered and uh, let it dry slowly with weight bags. And that will help it to not warp. Sometimes, um, sometimes I've actually even, it, depending on my feet that I have on it, I've even, other, I can't do it on this one because um, there's this one has chili peppers, the other one doesn't. But sometimes I've actually even fired them upside down because uh, then they kind of lay more evenly. But you have to be careful with that because you don't want your rims to flat back. Can you tell I've been working with <laughs> rolling pins today? It turns my hands orange when I'm making rolling pins. Um, so, Penny, I got it and responded already. So, hey, Veronica. Hi, Jean. Who else did we miss? Sheila, Catherine, Jen. Hey, Jen, Rhonda. Jackie must tell you that I love my five pins. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Okay. Let's answer who asked me that question. I, I can't see your names on here. If you guys remember, I, I video through Ecamm. And Ecamm at the top. Oh, hold on. Copy link done. Um, add link to the, the description. There should be, you should be able to see at the top a thing that'll say give Ecamm permission or something. All that's saying is on Facebook, your name shows up. Well, through Ecamm, Ecamm has to ask Facebook or get permission that they're allowed to see your name. So if you click that link at the top of the description, that just lets me on my computer see your name, which if you're not clicking it, what I see over here is Facebook user, Facebook user, Facebook user. Everybody's name is Facebook user. So I have to keep looking at my phone because on my phone, it is um, Facebook. And so I can see your name. So if you click that link and give Ecamm permission, I can see your name on my computer and not have to keep looking at my phone. Um, hi, Diane and Renee. All right. So let's take a look at making this dish and answering that question of did I cut it in three pieces? Okay. I moved my clay out of the way and I have my forms sitting here. Now what I want to do is put these pretty close together just like that. What do you think of that? That's going to be sweet. But what I do want to do is I want to put my, my template underneath that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back together. Oops. I cut this backwards, so I will do it on the black side. It just means it won't release quite as quickly, but that's okay. That is quite all right. That's what we want to do because I want to cut this to have this fun, funky, festive shape. Let me 
put me back down in the screen. How about that? Anyway, I want to put this in this fun, funky, festive shape. So I have it all lined up. Now, we're not using this on the banding wheel system because um, I can't do holes in all three. Well, there are holes in all of them. But to do this divided dish, I can't hold all three of them. So I'm just going to have to be very careful when I put my clay over the top. So let me grab my clay. Now remember, I cut my clay to width so that when I lay it over, I know that all of it will be getting the texture. So let me grab this for you real quick. Now this is a long piece of clay, so I've got to be very gentle with it. And I like to put it behind me where I can see that I'm hitting all of it. Come just a little more. And I know I'm hitting all of this. So there, look at that. So I'm gonna grab my ribs out here. Got a bunch of them. And I think I'm actually just gonna wet and start very gently very, very gently with my little red rib just to kind of knock this down a little bit. Now remember, I do have texture, so I don't want to mess that up. And let me get this up where I can get this in. And get this in to get that division in there. Come in very gently, get that division going, get into that divided space, and I'm going in very gently, very softly with my red rib, and I'm gonna do that over here too, very gently, very softly. All you gotta do is take your time. See that coming in already? Take your time, finesse it. Good things come to those that are patient. Well, I don't know that I can say that because I'm not one to have a whole lot of patience. <laughs> Who is patient in this group? I mean, we work with clay. We have to be, we have to develop some type of patience Don't we? Slightly wet my finger and just kind of slide down in there. Just to give it some, I don't want to stretch it out. I just simply want to get in there very gently. Maybe we should see who's having the biggest heat wave to go with this chili pepper poppin' festive tray. Put in the chat how hot you are where you are. Now I'm gonna kinda come up into this I'm just taking my time getting this down. I am in no rush. Look at that. I'm just wetting my rib over here and getting all the clay off of it. This is going to be fun, festive, chili pepperish.
just going to lightly press down in here, very lightly. There you go. Okay, I'm going to go to a slightly stiffer rib now and come in and kind of bring this down from both sides just to get a little depth in there. Just using my finger and rubbing gently. If you lightly run your sponge across it, your finger will slide better. Now I'm going with my little finger because it's smaller to give me a little more depth. I go back with my red rib, but my rounded corner. See if I can get that in there deeper. And get the other side. All right, Whoa. slippery little sponge. I go in a little deeper on this side. In a little deeper on this side. I'm gonna go around my edges. Kind of went into that one, but that's quite all right. We can just easily fix that. There. All right, I think we're ready to cut this outside edge. Actually, I want to swoop that just a little more on all of it. I like it to swoop. Go swoop and swoop. I'm into that swoop thing going on. And then I'm going to go around the edge just so I can kind of see my template. Not that I need to. Oh, there. What do you think of that? All right. I'm going to grab my needle tool that I just put in here. Have you ever notice when you put something away, that's when it disappears? I just stuck this in here. And it went somewhere, but that's okay. I have a spare. Always have a spare. Always have a spare. All right. So I'm going to come in, hit my template, and gently follow.
come off that because my little arm wasn't reaching that far. Let me pull this down so I can come around the rest. All right, do not get rid of the excess. We are going to use it. Now, I can see a cleaner line here now, so I'm just going to get some of these little boogery edges off. It's faster up here where I couldn't reach or get around. There we go. Now I'm going to spin this around and get this edge. go around and get these edges. Oh, this is cute. Isn't this a fun little tray? I just, I'm one of these that I like to be outside the box. I don't like, I don't do a lot of just typical square, typical rounds. I like to do way outside the box. That's just how I've, oh, Sitting right beside me is where that was. So I fibbed. <laughs> I fibbed. I didn't put it away. I had already gotten it out. All right. Now we can put some really fun feet on this, or we can simply put regular feet on this, or being a serving dish like this, we could put no feet whatsoever. Bring this cross. I would want this to definitely be straight. There you go. Can you just hardly wait till we flip this over? I'm not going to put feet on it. It's just going to be a serving dish. It's going to be nice and flat. Set this across here. Yep, it's nice and flat. So I'm going to leave it and go let it dry. Then we'll be back. Okay, I have this back. It has sat up just a little bit. So what I want to do, is... okay, I have this back. Okay, I don't know why it went right to that other video. Now I'm going to have to find it when I'm ready for it. Um, Misty, this is called totally patient clay slabbing slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, it was very slowly for me. I usually just like wham, 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 wham right through it. But this one... This one is it takes a little finessing to get that dip in there and that kind of thing. Um, Peggy Byler, you live in a Tuscadero? Um, did I know that? I spent months and months and months in a Tuscadero. Uh, Mr. Wilson and I completely remodeled a big portion of a house there. But it was a, um, if you live in a Tuscadero, you may have heard of her, the Sandwich. Um, she was a sandblaster, a master sandblaster. And I studied under her for a long time and stayed at her home there with her for a long time. It was awesome. She had an indoor pool and a, and a guest, guest house. And we stayed in the guest house and I was in that indoor pool two or three times a day. But... 
I, um, I blasted and blasted. I'm going to have to bring on and show you guys some of my sandblasting. It is not surface etching. It is deep blasting. In fact, there's a glass shop there in a Tuscadero. You may have been in it. I can't think of the name of it, but there's a, um, big, uh, fish scene shower door in there. Um, and a big, uh, not a Ikebana, a Cocopelli, <laughs> Coca, big Cocopelli. That's actually my design, and I did a big par portion of the blasting on that. So if you get a chance to go in there, if it's still there, you will know who did that. Um, hello from Colorado. Love your work. Oh, thanks, Vi. All right. So let me find that one that it was actually... Jumping right in. Did I miss anybody else's question, guys? Let me see. Aren't you ever so clever? Oh, <laughs> Misty, you crack me up. You're a poet and don't know it. That would be so cool. Um, De uh, Who is that? Barb. To have the template holes match up with the forms. Yes, it would. But it's like that. this particular one, that would be impossible because the hole is in the middle. And the middle, and there is a hole in the middle of each. So, yes, you could. If I drop this on my plate, I'm going to kick myself. I spent a lot of time on those handles. <laughs> so, I could, I could put this on my banding wheel. And I have it backwards, but because I wanted to see the hole. But I could put this on my banding wheel. And line the middle up just like that. But if you think about it, if it's on the banding wheel and that hole comes up with the peg in the middle, there's no way to put the holes here, um, even though these have holes in them, because um, what would it what would stick up to put a peg through? So that's why it's not there. There is a hole in the back of these, though, but why do you suppose that would be? Because you could actually, you could actually separate this out and make a little tray, a curvaceous tray, and then a little curvaceous rectangle tray. Um, so I may put, and I may do this tomorrow, <clears throat> create templates for this and do a, a a little dish and a little side dish and see what that looks like uh, because those are just adorable look at those those are just adorable by themselves and you know me guys I'm so swoopy I like that swoop swoop thing all the time anytime I can swoop something I'm gonna swoop it um Cindy very late joining the party hey but you're here at the party and that's all that matters and even if you missed it all together we keep those replays up um, Christine Wilderson, I see you. Couldn't someone put holes in the black thing? Okay. Yeah, we just, yeah, but you could, whoops, it all fell off, but I held on and it didn't hit my tray. Okay. So you could put holes in here, but you got to think it's on one of these. See the peg? So when you have the peg coming here, you would have to drill holes here and here for more pegs and get those lined up. So I would say it's actually easier. Hold on, I dropped the stuff in the floor. It was it didn't move. It was it was easy. You just have to um, take your time and um, a little finessing, and you're good to go. Anything else? Love your swoops. <laughs> I love that swoop. All right, let's go see adding some um, depth to the rim. Okay, I have this back. It has sat up just a little bit, so... What I want to do is, I just want to throw a template on top of this. I'm going to sandwich it and flip it over. 
take this template, pop it off because I want to put some little, these are just extra push plates that I have. You can use anything. I just want to cover this so that I can put it back over and, and kind of make sure those sides drape down just a little bit so they don't just stick straight out. There we go. And what I'll do is just lightly, this set up quite a bit, I'm just going to lightly, I don't want to bring it clear down to the board, I just want to lightly bend it up so it has a little better shape to it. Now, you know me, I'm a swooper. I love to swoop, right? I could take my sponge and I could come in here and I could really swoop these swooped areas. I could swoop the swoop. See the difference? I love swooping. And then I could come out here and swoop this. And I think I will just because, darn dogs, just because it's going to give that added little spunky look on the other side. So, I'm going to swoop it down into those little, <laughs> give it some little sass. We like sass. And give that one some sass. While I'm at it, because it's sat quite a bit, I can actually kind of hit these corners or this underside. And again, I added swoop, 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 swoop. Oh, is that going to be cute? All right. Now what I'll do is just go lay this aside until it's really stiffened up and then we'll flip it and see what we got. We'll be back. Okay, are y'all tired of my swooping yet? <laughs> you gotta admit, the way that was after we did the swoop swoops, I mean, it just gives it so much more character, so much more interest. Um, I'm gonna flip this now and in this next video, I'm going to go ahead and flip it. Um, let's see who's asking that. Sheila. Um, actually, this is not the um, exact shape of the curvaceous. It's, it is slightly different. And these uh, rectangles fit this one particularly. So it's not part of that curvaceous square set. Um, Yeah, it, it's, it's, it is a slight different shape and um, it is this, this little tray set only comes in two sizes and it's actually a set. It comes with the template, the, um, the, the fat one and the, and the two side rectangles as well. And um, I'm debating though. Because those, I, I may add in the, the rim page, I may add rim specifically, I dropped all of it in the floor and I'm not going to get down there and dig for it, but for just those rectangles, I may add separate rims for that so that if you wanted to split that and just make some rectangle, um, swoopy rectangle dishes, you could do that too. So I may throw that in there as well. Pin would look great in the shape of a chili pepper. Yes, it would. Great minds thinks alike. Who said that? Rhonda. Yeah. Stay tuned, Rhonda. Um, that is on its way. Okay. Let's see this thing flipped over. 
Okay, we are back. We are ready to flip this and see what we have. So I'm going to just set this template on the top. Actually like this only because, nope, that won't match. I'm gonna go this away. Okay, I'm gonna set this. Oh, come back here. I'm gonna sandwich it over if I don't drop the whole thing on the floor. Take this off, take this off, take this off. Now, I can actually use my plucker doodads and um, put that in there. Screw that till it gets tight. Ooh, pop that right out. That was easy. Now, because that one's out, I can probably pop this one out without one. Oh, look at that. And look at that. Look at that dish. Oh my gosh. Um, there is your divided tray. And I love the subtleness of this. Can you see the division? It just kind of swoops like the rest of this pattern um i cannot wait to get this glazed and see how this is going to do that we will show you in another video when it's done through the bisque through the glaze and we will see what we end up with okay so what are some ideas you can do with this you, I mean, this little tray doesn't just have to have <laughs> my little M&Ms melt in your mouth, not in your hands, right? Well, rolling pins melt in your hands. Um, obviously, you don't have to do this with the chili pepper pin. It would be um, gorgeous. It would be absolutely gorgeous with um, flowers, it, anything on that tray it that tray could be set up as a theme to anything that you wanted it'd be great for baby showers wedding showers easter parties any kind of thing you want at all but because it's hot and it's festive barbecue -y season time of year i thought the chili pepper would be awesome where is the tray with the pepper handles did i miss it we yes yes but no so the pepper handles weren't done in, on this life because that is part of a slab to fab class. So um, I did, I just was showing, I'll show it real quick, but it is a slab to fab class on sculpting these um, that will be out this week. But there, there it is with the handles. Now, the other thing I did and didn't attach, yeah, plates for people who hate their food touching. Let me tell you, my grandson and my daughter are that way. It, you know, it cracks me up because you know it all goes to the same place. But there are a lot of people who do not like their food to touch. Um, so this is this is good for that. Um, anyway, yeah, that it's kind of different. And so I was going to jump on over into the slab to fab group after this and show you this. And I still do that. So any of my slabbers, if you're on, jump on over into the slab group after this. And, um, I'll talk a little more about this tray. Any of you who want to learn sculpting the pepper handles and, and any of, if you saw the other two new classes we had this week, um, Come on in, join us over there for lots of fun projects. Here in this group, I keep them pretty basic, pretty simple, but we get uh, we get a little more crazy and out of the box over in our slab community. And I will tell you, it is a drama-free, fun, loving community. Everybody jumps in and helps each other out. It's awesome. Holiday themes would be awesome as well. Um, and you know, who was that earlier? That was Sheila. 
Sheila. Sheila, Sheila, Sheila. You know, I hadn't thought about making, this was a different set, so I hadn't really thought about making that exactly to the existing curvaceous. Um, I don't know if I, let me see what I can do on that. Let me work on that. Because I do want to add the curvaceous rectangles and this could do that. So let me see if I could get it to line up specifically to the existing curvaceous. And if I can, I will let you know and I'll switch that whole game up. All right. Any other, oh, we're right at 630. Perfect timing. Any other questions, guys? How many of you enjoyed a, just a, kind of a totally different random project tonight? That is so true. Um, you know, sometimes by the time the comments come, I don't know what they were about. So I'm not sure what you were, that is so true about, um, but I'm sure it was true. Any other questions, guys? If not, we're gonna we're gonna call it. Thank you, Bettina. Hey, Melody. Um, that was fab. Love it, Jackie. Um, again, those of you that are um, in the slab group, jump on over in the slab group because I'm gonna have a quick chat with you. Um, and the rest of you, come and join us. And I will see you all in a week or so. I have a, a bis kiln going that has two watermelon bowls. One watermelon bowl I made just on a round mold, a round bisque mold. One was the one I made on the um, on an actual real watermelon. I used a real watermelon as a mold. Those are in the bisque kiln right now. And uh, so as soon as this bisque kiln gets done by morning, I'll have a whole load to glaze and uh, and get stuff out for you guys to see. So off to work, Vicki. That's right, it's daytime over there. I will see you guys all shortly.